Hey guys, Brandon Fry here, coming at you from my home here in Gilbert, Arizona. Today's video is going to help you answer one uh, common question we all get. It doesn't matter if you're in a network marketing opportunity or if you work a 95 job or a, a bricks and mortar type business. We all get this question, but it's a matter of how do you answer it after you've joined a network marketing company. That's what trips people up. So the, the question is, what do you do for a living? Uh, or, or most commonly, what do you do? A lot of people just say, what do you do? And that just implies, what do you do for a living? Um, I answer this question one of two ways, um, whether it just depends on the mood, <laughs> my mood for the day. Um, and I get this question a lot, whether I'm in social gatherings or I'm in a public place at a mall or um, at a store shopping or something like that. Um, or if I'm traveling, I get that a lot when I'm traveling, when I'm on a plane. Like just recently, two weeks ago, I was sitting next to some woman and uh, she she was scared of flying and I explained to her, you know, I fly quite a bit. I fly five to eight times a month. It's no big deal. There's nothing to worry about. And she's like, well, what do you do for a living? You know, I guess she thought maybe I traveled for a living and that was part of my job or something. But I explained to her that um, I'm in a network marketing company. Uh, I run a network marketing business. And she was like, oh, what is that? With computers or something? And so a lot of people, they're either, typically they're confused by it. They don't really know what network marketing is. Um, if anything, they think it's like sales marketing for a company, um, which is pretty much kind of what we do. Um, or when they hear networking, um, they think computers. So sometimes they're just confused in that way, or um, if they have any knowledge of network marketing or MLM, um, sometimes they'll have some kind of negative belief about it and think it's some kind of pyramid scheme. And some people will even ask you, they'll say, oh, you're in one of those pyramid schemes. And um, there's two ways to answer that. And you can say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm in one of those pyramid thingies, you know, and just play along with it. And then they'll, it'll lighten the mood and they'll get more serious about what you're talking about. But I like to explain to them that it's the same concept as Tupperware, uh, Mary Kay, Isagenix. Um, I just named some of these big companies that they probably heard of before. Um, so that way they have a, a different mindset, a different thought about it. It just brings up different probably memories with them. If you talk about Amway or some of these other companies, back in the day, I mean, everybody was getting into Amway left and right. And I have met family members. I've got at least two family members that got into Amway and did nothing with it. Um, I don't think that's the fault of Amway. I think that's the fault of them. They didn't have an entrepreneurial mindset or they just weren't ready to take on that kind of responsibility. But so some people could have a negative, there could be a negative connotation with uh, the network marketing uh, world and they may see differently of it, but you could, you could change that with them. But it's not your job to change it. It's just to um, answer that question honestly, because I've found that some people, once they get into network marketing, they're afraid to tell people. Like they're afraid of what people might think. And I really have less of an issue out here as I used to back in North Carolina. I live in Arizona now. Um, the farther west you go or the farther northeast you go, like New York and stuff, um, a lot more people are acceptable about, they don't care what you do for a living. And a lot of people out here are in network marketing uh, on the west coast. So a lot of people here are retired as well and they get into network marketing or MLM or affiliate marketing, you know, online sales type of stuff. So there's kind of more of an open-minded uh, people out here on the West Coast and so it's not that big of an issue but I do travel quite a bit so I talk to people all over the uh, the world really so um, but I found that today you know more more and more people are becoming more acceptable uh, are more accepting of uh, network marketing and what it is and the people in it so don't be worried about sharing your your business this is what you do you know this is what you're doing to to create income even if you're a complete newbie don't be afraid to to speak to people about it because guess what that person you're talking to, they may be in a bad spot right now. They may have just gotten fired from a or laid off from a job they were in, they were with for 20 years, and they were getting ready to get retirement, and now they won't get it. And they may have just lost complete hope in the corporate model. And so, um, and you can even go into if they do say, "Hey, oh, that sounds like a pyramid scheme. Is that one of those pyramid things?" And then you can explain, "No, uh, you know, I used to think that as well." But uh, once I got in and saw how it's really structured, it doesn't matter where you join that in a company, you can be the top earner. You can exceed the, the income levels, um, you know, the, uh, product, um, the product volume you're selling um, compared to your sponsor. You can, you can you know, outrank anybody you want to. It doesn't matter where you get, get in at. Whereas in corporate America, there's only one CEO in each company. And uh, you know, they got the COOs, the um, area managers, and then you know, on down the line, then you got the worker bees at the bottom doing most of the work and getting paid the, list, uh, the least. So once you explain that to them, 
um, then they'll they'll get a better idea of where they're really at, which is really a pyramid scheme. I mean, you can you can explain that, and I, I like to tell people, hey, I used to work for a major um, coffee company, the number one coffee company in the world, and I got paid peanuts compared to what the area supervisor got paid, and she got paid peanuts compared to what the district manager made, and she got pe made peanuts uh, compared to what the uh, the CEO of the company was making. So that is a pyramid structure model where there's only you know the one CEO at the top and everybody else makes less on down the line. That's the way that's set up. That's corporate America for you. That's what we're taught in our education system. So um, if I really want to get into that and I trust and I build a little bit of rapport first with a person and we connected a little bit first, then I might go into all that detail, but you really don't have to. Just mention, oh, I work this uh, network marketing business. Um, you know, my, The person I joined with is making X amount of money. Um, I've already seen people opting in and I've already talked to people getting on board with me. Um, just go from there and be proud of what you do. We are the second highest paying profession right behind professional sports. So why would you be, if you were a professional athlete, would you hate to tell somebody that you're a linebacker for you know whatever team, your favorite team? You know, you wouldn't be. You'd tell, you'd tell the world, you'd be shouting it from the rooftop. So I want you to get excited about your network marketing business. Shout it from the rooftop. You know, once you do that and you become, ex you know, when you become comfortable with what you're doing, you're more likely to have extraordinary success just because you believe in it. Okay, it all starts with the belief. You have, that, have to have that belief first, you know, put in a little action, get some results, and then you have faith. And uh, once you have faith, you're unstoppable. Okay, so be comfortable with what you're doing, um, be proud of what you're doing, and get your name out there, and it doesn't matter. You're connecting with strangers, whatever they want to know what you're doing, tell them. Tell them. I've talked to a lot of people. In fact, when I first moved out here, I was looking at different properties. I've talked to a property uh, manager, and she said, uh, you know, what do you do for a living? And I said, well, I'm a net professional network marketer. And she said, well, actually, that's, that's interesting because on the side, I also do blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what it was, Mary Kay or Isagenix or I don't know what it was. Um, and I said, that's awesome. I said, yeah, I, I'm just amazed by this, this industry. I became a top earner in, in under six months. You know, and she's like, wow, really? <laughs> so then, you know, she started checking out my stuff. So you never know who your next prospect is. You never know who your next lead or customer is going to be. So, you know, don't keep that from people. Get your, get your name out there. So, all right, guys, so that's basically my message for today. I could ramble on about that all day long, obviously. So um, I'll stop there. But, guys, if you have any questions about today's video or about any of my previous videos, feel free to leave a comment below or just reach out to me using my contact details below. Um, you can also check out my website. I'll leave a link below to that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Have a good one, guys.